Well, good morning, my strictly lovely people. Good, good, good Saturday morning. Okay, hope all is well. Pray all is well. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you brought a friend. Okay, to be inspired, to be influenced, to get a little motivational self talk thing here going. Let's share the love okay in a strictly lovely way so let's tune in to today to today's energy see what spirit wants us to know with the love oracle card so i got some more cards coming in today um It said, time and love, tarot. Stop time in. Deepen your love with friends in 54 love prophecy cards. So let's go on the beach time soul. All right. Who's these cards by? It don't say. So let's, let's see. Let's tune in. Hope y'all feeling good. I hope y'all looking good. I think y'all smelling good. All right. Look, I was finna go ahead and get into it. I ain't playing. I ain't playing. Look, y'all, engagement ring. This has been showing up lately. Someone like you. Someone like you and, baby, they want a partnership commitment. They want eternity. They want a completion. They want to complete their union. They like you. Someone like you. Romance is blooming. blooming. They love you. Okay? They want to have fun with you. They want to flirt. They want to date you. I'm just saying. Okay? They're going to be the topic. Let's, let's bring them out. Let's clarify. This engagement ring and I like you. Let's It's ascending, hand of cards, and a mass. Okay. This engagement ring. Someone like you, they want to marry you, right? It's ascending. It's transcending obstacles. Um, you are learning. You are expanding to a new phase within your life. And you're preparing for this union. Okay. Hand of cards. So, take a risk. Take a chance, risk, okay, that's what it said. It said being strategic, okay, planning out. Options, not showing hand, not gambling. So hand of cards, like keep it to yourself. That was spirit saying, ace of hearts, ace of spades, keep it to yourself. Play your cards right, okay? This is a new phase of your life that you have to learn. From old obstacles. You have to transcend those. Transcending obstacles. Uh, also, I feel like this mess. You're not letting people know your hand. How you playing your card. It's not showing true feelings. Okay. You finna hide. Um, person, personify. You finna pretend. You finna delude. You finna gaslight people. Because you are protecting your hand. You're protecting your cards. No one ain't gonna know what you finna play. I'm finna tell you what you finna play. What's the outcome? This this the card you finna. This the hand that you got. You finna dealt in. It said, um, conceited. Conceited. You finna play an outdated thinking. You finna play people. You finna play with them people minds. I, I'm in a good way, okay? It's just like your 3D physical form is actually ascending to this new phase. And this new phase can be you aligning with your spiritual self completely within the 5D into your reality. So you, this is completed. You're preparing for your union. You have to be your higher self. It have to ascend. Now, baby, I mean, this this was spirit woman to tell y'all. Look, four, four, four. It's about your stability. It's about your union. It's about your foundation. It's about your um, romantic love life. Because someone like you and they want to marry you. So you can't let nobody know 
just not yet enjoy it. you can enjoy it so of course put on a mask everybody gonna try to know it's gonna be so easy to find out who want to be in your business due to the fact of outdated thinking um it said conditioning replaying events over in your head someone is in their head and look the butterfly they they in their head because they want a relationship to involve with you to the next phase period the cars are saying this clearly okay um they need to heal their inner child they need the growth so this is the outdated thinking that you finna um uh, not show true feelings towards and this just the hand that's been played this this in the deck your hand is ascending you got your growth you have your healing okay let me get one more card. Let's make this. Well, let's clarify this with the light seekers. Well, we six minutes. So let me keep going because I know it's going to be a little short clip. One second, child. It's okay. It's okay. The fun, the phoenix. And here's the butterfly. Here's your relationship. A new phase is rekindled. Most people want to come back to rekindle something. It's not you. It's dead. It's dead. You got all that you need within yourself. Come say hey, mommy. Hi, mama. Say hey. Hey. <laughs> so pretty, self. But yes, you got to renew transformation, grow, change your mind. And this you ascending spiritually with your mate that you finna date, that you finna be in engagement with. Stop, don't do that. <laughs> you got a separation that is conceited, okay, with outdated thinking. And this the um cards that they gotta play. This this they hand on their card, they had their hand. Look. We all played our own deck of cards within our life. That separation, not today, my friend, not today. Mama. Not not, Mama. not with your relationship Mama. involving, with Mama. your husband, with your wife. Mama. Yes, baby. Mama. Open the door. Mama. Thank you. But, yeah, you're not having it. You're not having it. You're not dealing Mama. with hurts. You're Mama. not going, you're going Mama. to be avoiding conversation Mama. from people who want to call. You got Mama. boundaries because they are still angry. They are still angry because they want the relationship to involve. When you are in a ascended relationship that involves an engagement ring because someone really like you, they have romantic feelings, they love you, okay? This is not a separation. You you got new love, so congratulations. Welcome to the good life. Okay, my strictly lovely. If this reading resonated with you guys, okay, like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell if it didn't disregard it okay i'll be back with another read let's get into something else until next time